Welcome to the Network Training Course. We are looking at Principle 4, Working Together. We have five points to consider together. Number one, collective action is the missing component. The church has the biblical mandate, people with passion and compassion, and is already active in most communities everywhere. The main issue is that churches are working independently, in isolation, missing out on the power of togetherness. Viva's heart is to address this, such that their combined influence is a stronger witness for the gospel than when working alone. We bring together people, churches and organisations with a shared heart for children sharing vision and building relationship to engage them all in collective action to both change children's lives and change the wider situation of children. Number two, finding God's heart together. In Galatians 5, 16 to 26, we are called to turn away from selfishness and live a new life by the Spirit through Jesus Christ. Selfishness stirs up trouble and separates people into their own little groups. Jesus makes us one in Him, so we can work alongside others appropriately and effectively. When we work together, the fruit of the Spirit becomes evident. There is peace in our lives that comes from harmonious relationships and when we are united, we can grow. Many Christians start off their ministry to children from a place of community and gradually move into a place of isolation for various factors. Viva feels called to address this isolation in the body and call back the isolated into unity through a network of the local church. Often, people working for the well-being of children at risk feel called by God specifically to address a certain need. This call fuels their passion and energy. These people then start their own ministries in their area of calling. However, we have found that where the need is great, God calls several people to the same task. Often these people never find each other or they operate separately. However, this has to be challenged in the light of God's direct call to unity and to work together. Number three, sharing resources and funds. We know that the early church shared such a sweet form of fellowship that they decided to have everything in common, sharing among those who had need. Through the unity of a network, we have the ability to tap into this strength and abundance that was given to the early church by the Holy Spirit. Resources can be shared, so overflow can be handed out and needs addressed. With open hearts, people give what they can and are helped when they are in need through the unity and fellowship developed through the community aspect of a network. We find we work much better together than we would as individuals. We gain confidence that our lives are better within God's calling and boundaries, so we feel safe to trust him for more strength and greater miracles. Four believing we are stronger together. No one person has all the abilities, strengths or gifts. With the variety of gifts and strengths that we bring, our network will be strengthened rather than weakened. Although each of us functions differently in the body, our differences complement each other and enable the body to live properly. God formed us with a variety of skills, abilities, ideas, personalities and experiences and he chooses to put us together to accomplish more in unity. 
Being different reduces individual complacency and increases potential for powerful work and growth. Number five, working towards a common vision for a bigger purpose. If our first motivation for togetherness is that God desires it, the second must be that it is ultimately best for the children. It takes a sense of humility to admit that someone else might be able to do better or more for the children in our care than we can. By working together, we can ultimately do more for the children and for their future. Together, we can look at the bigger picture and through starting to work collaboratively, we can develop a bigger vision and start to look at ways to change the situations children face across our locality. This will make a much more significant difference to many more children than those within our individual projects. Our shared contributions will become a part of something much bigger and stronger with the help of the Holy Spirit who will transform our thinking and our behaviour when we work together. In John 17, 20 to 23, we see Jesus' desire for us to work together in unity. This is what he prayed for us. Why was this so important to him? Look at verse 21, that the world would believe in him because of their unity. Unity is so powerful that it will show the world that Christ lives. He has called us to be part of his family, to live as his body in the world. In this way, he chooses to put different people together in order to accomplish his purposes. Whether in a church family, a working group, an office, a project or a network setting, all of these require us to work alongside one another. When we do this out of an attitude of love, we can accomplish much more together than we could ever do on our own. There are three reflective questions this week. Number one, how do you think engaging with God's heart for children might impact those in your network? Two, discuss the phrase, the local church, the hope for the world. Do you agree or disagree? Why? And number three, what are some of the challenges and some of the benefits of working together? The action plan. What actions do you need to put into place as a result of this unit? <music>